My boyfriend Lewis and I are renovating a house. A bit crammed in here. Our current house is a building site. It's so frustrating and it's like a tour of what the kitchen will look like and I'm going to show you now. Which is exciting! We can't turn back now. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Steph. This is a little corner of the internet where every Saturday I post a vlog and I ask one thing, if you could just leave me a comment to let me know how you are. I just love to hear from you guys um, and I think it's a great excuse to do it every single Saturday. I've just woken up so that's why I look half asleep. Today's video is the start of a new series. My boyfriend Lewis and I are renovating a house and we are documenting the journey and basically I've been very vocal since even getting the house. I would never do a house tour and that is still the case. I never want to walk through the house showing you everything, filming everywhere just because I value our privacy too much and as much as I love watching house tours, don't get me wrong, like I'm such a nosy little bugger. I just feel like I can draw people's exact floor plans and I just find it quite invasive. I love it, I watch them, I hold my hands up but personally I just find it a little bit invasive. However the rooms, the main rooms that we're doing the work to this year, we're kind of splitting it up into two sections. The main work that we're doing this year are the main rooms that I'm going to film anyway in terms of creating content or the rooms we're going to spend most of our time in and I'm happy to share those. So I thought I would talk you through the entire process of how we found architects, how we found builders, how we found all of these things, any mistakes that I learned along the way because we've only been going a month and let me tell you I have made a lot of mistakes up until this point. So I kind of just wanted to do it from a perspective of we're renovating our first home, the first time we've ever done a project like this. Learn from our mistakes, give us advice if you have any, all of those kind of things. And I thought it'd be quite exciting also to watch back just to remind ourselves that the stress was worth it, you know? So this week's video, I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of just setting up the house. So I'll talk you through the rooms that we're renovating. I'll talk you through um, kind of design plans and ideas um, and show you little bits and bobs of what's been happening and also the progress so far. Before we get going with the fun stuff, let me talk you through what we're actually doing. So the main bulk of the work is kind of the extension. Our kitchen before, it was perfectly fine. It was just quite small and restricted in terms of space and it's where we spend a lot of our time. We're knocking our small kitchen through to our small dining room and then we're going out to open it up and make it all open plan. Then in the garage, we are converting the single garage into a home gym and a utility room. It's quite a small space, but we're gonna do what we can with it. We are converting one of our bedrooms into like a master suite. So it's gonna be a slightly bigger bedroom with a walkthrough closet into a bathroom. That's a little extension as well. I've shown you little bits and bobs there of how it looks aesthetically before the work is done. And you'll see throughout this video, what actually happens to it within the first month. Now, like I said, this is our first home. It's something that we've dreamt of for a very long time together. We are very excited by it. I hope you enjoy this journey with us. We will be showing kind of each step of the process, checking in every few weeks with a video to update you. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video. And if you do, leave it a cheeky thumbs up. Hello! So if you have followed me before, you will know that I teased this a little bit on one of my previous videos saying how Lou and I are going to design our dream kitchen. So this is part of the renovation diaries and I kind of wanted to show you us exploring all of our options. So we do have, um, one of my friends, Chloe, is phenomenal at interior design. Um, we are paying customers, but I will link her below because she has been amazing and I cannot wait for you to see what she's come up with. However, we are meeting with actual kitchen companies to design functional kitchens that make sense in terms of like, if you love cooking, where should everything be? What should you look for when you're buying a kitchen? Because obviously it's where we're gonna spend, what, 80% of our time in the house, isn't it? It's where we wanna host, it's where we wanna entertain, it's where we're gonna cook together every night and create beautiful memories in that house. So we want it to be perfect or as close to perfect as we can. So we are actually heading to a Ren store now. I will let you know how the experience goes. check-in of the day. Um, we are driving to the house for the first time and I've not seen it in a week and a half. Yeah, you've not seen it in a while. I've not seen it in a while, so 
I'm excited to see it. Well, actually, it snowed for the last few days, so I don't know how much progress they would have had. Um, can't speak. I don't know how much progress they would have actually made on the outside of things, but I know that they've started on the garage conversion. So I'm excited to see that. They don't actually know we're coming there. We probably should have told them. Nah. Nah. Catch them on guard. Little surprise. Oh, the whole <laughs> freaking hell, we almost <laughs> died. Um, yeah, the whole thing is quite unnerving, but exciting. <laughs> so <laughs> we almost died. See you in a bit. <laughs> actual building site so in this room this used to be a boiler room and then there was a really small little ensuite in here but now we're making this all open plan and it's actually being extended out so that there's going to be another bathroom outside over the kitchen and then this will eventually be our master with like a nice big wardrobe area which i'm really excited about we've not actually started the design for in here yet so i don't i can't picture what it's going to look like this is going to be the gym Bit crammed in here need to keep there's a lots step of tools on a, everywhere on a tool here yeah. so this is the garage that we're actually converting into a gym um it's a single garage so it's not the biggest space in the world but we're going to maximize it with the equipment that we choose and we're actually splitting the garage into a utility room and into the gym section only because when we've lived here for the year and a half that we have, we were always drying our clothes and stuff in the living room and it was taking up other parts of the house that we kind of use on a regular basis. So now we'll have a designated area for that. And then in the gym, we've had to raise the floor to match the level of the house, which has been done. This is insulation that's gonna go all around it and make it a proper functioning room. Um, but it also means that in the winter when we're actually training in here, that it's not gonna be minus 17,000 degrees. And then the attachments that actually open the door are getting removed. Um, so this, this door will not open anymore. But the, the next person that moves in in however many years time can change it back if they want to. But for us, this is now gonna be like a fully fledged functioning room, which is exciting. It's, a, it's the obviously wall. a small space, like it's a home gym. It's not exactly like a full on David Lloyd, but it's gonna be um, a nice space. I can't wait for you guys to see what we're going to do with the design element of it. Cool. Do you want to show them what the builders have drawn? Yeah, I do actually. We don't know why, um, and they're not here to explain. But let me introduce you to this guy. I want to know who that is. He's rigged though. I've got a theory. You've got, they think it's you. <laughs> Was it me when I came in? Oh my God, I'm don't. not bald though. I'm yeah, not bald you don't though. have a receding hairline. No. Yeah. And I don't have arms that big. You do. Anyway, well, waistline that's more. let's go and see the extension. This is freaking cool. So this is actually where our kitchen was. Um, and this is actually where it's now going to come out to. So it's probably a bit windy. You might not be able to hear me, but it's going to double in size pretty much. That's the foundations, which we're hoping to get poured soon. There's been a few issues with the building regulations, but we're fixing that. Um, and then this is all going to be an open plan space and it's all being knocked away. We can't turn back now. <laughs> Hello, how are we doing? So I thought I'd update you with where we are. I'm gonna go and view the house tomorrow to show you all of the bits and bobs that have been done. But it's getting to the point now where we need kind of like final designs for downstairs. So for what's gonna happen to, excuse me, for what's gonna happen to the garage area, for what's gonna happen to like the utility bit, and then also what's happening for the kitchen. So I did film our experience at Wren Kitchens, which was a really, really cool experience. So we met with a designer and we had an appointment with her and we looked at all of the amazing showrooms and we basically designed our dream kitchen. I'll actually show you what I took with us. So I got up a picture of our architectural drawings on a computer and I put all little dots and stuff and I drew out the space that was on the architectural drawing and then I basically drew this this little like bird's eye view of what i would love to have in our kitchen now i have been scrolling pinterest no word of a lie how many years before we even had the house it must be about five years that i've had a pinterest board going so i know exactly what i wanted all of the boxes that i wanted ticked for example i want one of these double fridge freezers or one of these amazing pantry cupboards where you open the cupboards and everything is organized in this beautiful oak a nice big island with bar stalls a uh, glass fronted dresser that has really pretty things all put inside of it. Big sliding doors that have loads of glass and like really thin black outlines. So I took this into Ren and it was amazing, don't get me wrong, like so you go and you see all of the showrooms, you can see colours, you can see materials, appliances, you sit down with your designer and the tech that they have to offer is next 
level insane our current house is a building site we can't see that space we can't get a feel for that space so it gave me goosebumps to put on those virtual reality goggles and see the actual size of what our kitchen is going to be and to have a feel of that but I will be honest as much as Ren is amazing and you can go in with a budget and they will work to your budget and all of that kind of stuff um we were just quite restricted so there was just certain things that I've been so excited about for so long that we were a little bit restricted with at Wren so I don't know for sure if we're going to go with Wren we've got the quote um that we're sitting on but we're thinking about going elsewhere just to see what else is on the market like not buy the first thing that you see so we are going to have a little bit of an explore but I am going to take this little drawing with me um to the next meeting that we go to and then I'm not actually going to show you the renders for the gym because the space is so small originally I wanted it to be like a pain cave really dark really cool lighting really loud music but the space is so small I'm not gonna lie to you it is a single garage that has been chopped in half it is tiny and so I spoke to the designer what can we do to make the space feel bigger and she was like lighter brighter anyway she was like let's think LA Pilates studio and I was like yeah that sounds good and it's literally she has nailed the brief to a T and I kind of don't want to show you the renders now because it might spoil the surprise when it's actually done so I won't show you that but I just had a message from her we finished the utility room finished the garage and she's gonna start on the master bedroom this week so that we can do first fixes of all electrical sockets next week this is kind of just a vlog to set up everything and hopefully if you follow this journey you'll be able to see it all happening see it all layer by layer i will check in with you tomorrow when we go and visit the house and see what they've done to it so far and give you a bit of a walkthrough so we're starting to see now how the room will actually feel as a size which is really exciting we've had the first fixes done for electricity the floor has been raised to house level and the insulation has been put in so now we kind of just need to finish making this a room and then utility room wise we've had it completely stripped out we have the wall the internal wall has been put in the doorway that leads into the gym has been put in and we're starting to feel how it's going to look again as an actual room right so we have an update on the house well not building updates there's a lot that I need to debrief you on because there's a lot that's not been done as a result of the council and all of these other annoying things however I have just received some of the 3d drawings for our utility room I know it's not the most exciting room in the world but I'm very excited to have it but let me just show you the little video that she sent me um hopefully you can see it i will show you now we'll walk through this door and then basically this is our boiler and cylinder which is tucked away nicely behind like a reed green door with gold handles then we're stacking the washing machine and tumble dryer we've got a sink because Lewis goes running in the woods all the time and everything is just filthy and I do not want to wash that up in the kitchen this is for like storage um this is a little radiator a nice little mirror there and then the external wall I don't actually have a picture of but I think I'm making that a surprise because it matches the aesthetic of the gym and it will all make sense when the gym is revealed and I cannot wait to show you what that is gonna look like because it's just beautiful but yeah in terms of a space like we are so grateful to have this because before it was literally just one of these bad boys in the garage very dusty very cold um so we're very excited for this situation right my darlings we do not need to talk about how haggard i look because i already know it's been a very long week and i am a mess um but something very exciting happened today we went to howden's oh freaking how i do this whole situation is just not cute right now um i should not talk to the camera when i'm tired and whiny so anyway moving swiftly on this is a very bright light all right, I turn the lights down, sue me. So I, we had a very exciting meeting today. We went to Howden's, which is usually to trade. And basically there are no showrooms really. You walk in and there's just like a few examples and then there's just all samples along a wall. And it's usually like they sell directly to trade and builders and stuff like that. Anyway, we had a design meeting and I took my little drawing <laughs> and sat down and oh my God, the choice that we had in comparison to Ren, there was just so much more in terms of flexibility and nuance and creativity and just experimenting with things. And when we went, I was like, oh, it's not gonna be the same experience as Ren. We're not gonna be able to see these amazing images. It's not gonna get a feel of what the space is gonna look like. So I'll just take everything with a pinch of salt. Anyway, we were in that meeting for, I don't know, maybe an hour. And she just, the woman that did the design, she just got me and just straight away, she was dropping things in, knowing exactly what I wanted. And she said, she laughed, she was like, I love this tech. She's like, I feel like I'm playing Sims all day. We then put together this whole kitchen aesthetic and literally about half an hour ago, she sent through the 3D render 
and it's like a tour of what the kitchen will look like and I'm gonna show you now in detail kind of everything that we're looking at. We're still exploring our options and everything like that and nothing is set in stone yet but just the experience is so cool and seeing your space in a way that you always imagined it but never knew if it would happen or not is just, it's really freaking cool. So let me show you. This is the space. This is the colour we're toying with at the moment. So it's like a reed green and then this is porcelain. But basically we've got our dresser, glass fronted dresser, which we couldn't get at Wren. Got the big kitchen island. Look at this. This is exactly what I wanted and more. Just like oak interiors. Really beautiful. I've always wanted a butler's sink, double oven for when we're cooking roast dinners for the family. This is the dresser that we could have got with quartz here, but I thought it looks like an actual piece of furniture with oak that matches the rest of the inside of the cupboards and stuff. And then the big double fridge freezer, the big island. We've gone for a hob there that's got the extractor fan in the middle. So you don't have to have like a big ugly extractor fan in the middle of the room, which is stunning. That's the view with like the back doors and stuff. Obviously they don't, they don't sell chairs, but this kind of aesthetic here, which will be really cute. And then this is what's really sold it to us. So basically we don't have the space to have like two offices in our house. So I've got a room that's currently my office and it was like, I just can work anywhere with my laptop. However, we spoke to the woman at Howden's and I was like, could we do like a secret hidden desk? Like just get some unit cupboards and then do like this secret hidden unit. And she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me try and see what we can do. Look what she's come up with. This is insane. This is what I mean about like the flexibility and nuance of things like on the outside. Oh, it was just, it was really cool. And we could kind of create anything we wanted and she would just say yes. Like it was really, really cool. So let me show you. Just a pantry cupboard that would shut door, door together. And then you open it and she's put in what would be a cutlery drawer a shelf that she's made into a desk. So then when this is shut, it's gonna match the kitchen and match the dresser and look like a piece of furniture. And then it's gonna open up and be a freaking desk. I can't cope. It's gonna be insane. Other than that, I'm gonna be honest, there's not a lot of good news about the build work. So what I'll do is I will check in with you tomorrow because I look exhausted right now. I'll update you on everything regarding the council and building control and all of the noise around why we've not made more progress in the morning. So don't go anywhere. Right team, so let me update you on the situation. So the reason it's been quite slow, obviously we've been going for about a month now and not a lot of progress has been made. So on day one, when we had the strip out, I'm not sure if you've watched my previous vlogs, but I said it was quite overwhelming. Like when they stripped it out, they stripped it out. It was so fast and our main builder, Les, this is Les is just a hero and we love him. And so within the first week they dug the foundations, we had building control come out to check them. And basically there were a few issues um, and they found a few things in terms of plumbing that weren't on the original plans for the road. So there was a few little hiccups that we bumped into. Anyway, Les sorted them straight away. He had solutions ready. He spoke to building control, he spoke to the council. And then they didn't reply for two weeks and then it turned into three weeks. So we've had to take matters into our own hand. They want us to dig even deeper, so we did. We basically just had a swimming pool in our back garden for two weeks because it snowed and then it rained and then it rained some more and then it rained some more. So all of those foundations that were dug are now full of water and they should be full of cement. So it's not ideal and we don't really have a solution yet. So we're still waiting for an answer from the building control. They haven't replied for a few weeks. We don't know what to do. We're waiting for them to get back to us so that we can kind of move forwards. I say we, I'm doing absolutely nothing. They've basically exhausted everything that they can do inside. They've ripped out everything that needs to be ripped out. They've destroyed walls that need to be destroyed. The garage is pretty much done in terms of like you saw with the floors raised, the insulation and the walls being built. There's not really a lot we can do and it's so frustrating and it slowed down the process so much. But, oh, one magpie. Oh, don't give me bad luck, please don't give me bad luck. It's been stressful, it's been a lot, but we can't do anything about it. So we just have to wait. I'm, I'm hoping that we get a response next week and then we can click go and get moving. I think that's where I will leave it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think, but thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys very soon as I will be posting a video next week. Sending you loads of love and I hope you have a wonderful weekend.